Hi, I'm Steve from Pragmasis. This is a brief video on how to fit the torque ground anchor to concrete floors using resin capsules. We've already checked this area to be clear of pipes and metalwork using a typical DIY metal detector, so we know we're, we're safe. Uh, and um, we've already drilled um, a test hole, so we're confident that the concrete is good quality. And um, we're about to continue to drill the first proper hole. We're going to use a mixture of different types of drill as a demonstration. This is an 18 volt good quality cordless hammer drill. So we'll drill the first hole using the pilot hole we made, the test hole we made before. And then we'll use other types of drill um, as we drill more holes just to compare. Um, this, this drill has been marked with tape um, to give us the correct drilling depth. And we normally supply the drill bits marked like that. So we know we're ready to go straight to the full depth. This drill is obviously not making good progress because it's very good quality concrete, so we're going to switch to an SDS cordless drill now. This is a lightweight professional quality cordless SDS drill, SDS plus drill. Uh, it has a completely different type of drill bit, so you can't use standard drills in, in SDS drills, um, but it is a much more powerful machine even though it's fairly lightweight and it's still 18 volts. So we'll see how this goes. That's completed that hole, um, so we can now position the ground anchor and move on to the next hole. Yeah. We're just going to vacuum the dust um, from around the hole and preliminary vacuuming of the dust within the hole as well um, to get it nice and clear. We can use this piece of plastic tube that we include in the kit with the crevice tool on the vacuum cleaner to, um, to help us clear the dust from inside the hole. We're going to put, put the ground anchor in position now over the hole we've, we've drilled. We don't need the red D-shackle yet. We're going to use one of the bolts as a guide dropped into the hole we've just drilled to, to help to keep the ground anchor in position uh, as we drill the next hole. The ground anchor is in position and we're going to use a piece of cloth to protect it so we can stand on it as we move on to drilling the diagonal hole from the one that we've already drilled. So we'll protect the ground anchor, tread on it, grab the drill and now just drill the first couple of inches of the diagonal hole just to uh, set the position of that hole. We're now going to reposition the ground anchor using the two diagonal bolts that we've prepared holes for, uh, having got nice clean holes. And now we're going to switch to a low quality, a budget quality, uh, mains powered SDS drill um, to see how that compares with the professional cordless drill we've just used. Again, this is SDS. Remove the ground anchor, 
get it out of the way and then complete these two holes. Now you can see that the budget quality mains powered STS drill has actually made slightly better progress than the cordless professional quality STS drill. This mains powered one is actually quite a bit heavier and that makes a big difference with STS. So we're now going to do thorough cleaning of all four holes to get ready to, using, to use the resin capsules. If you don't have a vacuum cleaner available, you can just use the piece of tubing that we provide and use your mouth to blow the dust out of the hole instead. But do beware, it's much more likely you'll get dust in your eyes, so it is important to wear safety specs if you do that. And also expect there to be an awful lot of dust in the holes. It's not obvious with us using the vacuum cleaner quite how much dust we've removed. But it's surprising just how much dust is compacted right at the bottom of these holes. And it's very important to get rid of that because otherwise the resin, uh, or any other type of fixing, would be trying to grip onto just dust, which is no good at all. You need to have clean holes, whatever type of fixing you're using. So we're now ready to reposition the ground anchor and just check that all of these holes are deep enough and they're clear and the alignment is, is all okay. We're now, having cleaned the holes, we check the depth of every hole and we do that by just dropping one of the bolts in and checking it just drops to, to the surface of the concrete. If any are a little bit shallow, uh, then we just re-drill and clean the holes again at this stage. So now we can position the ground anchor and again check that all four bolts will slot in nice and cleanly um, so we've got the alignment correct. We're now going to do one final check with a screwdriver or other sharp object uh, just to make sure that we've not gone through the bottom of, of the concrete. Um, and we've got good quality walls to the holes in each case. These all look fine so far. Now we're ready to actually put the resin capsules themselves into each of the holes. And they should just sink no more than 5mm below the surface of the concrete. Now, before we forget, because this is crucial, we position the red D-shackle itself where it's going to end up. And we then take the ground anchor base plate and position that over the resin capsules. So we're now ready to actually fit the bolts into the resin. We check that the threads are clean on all of these bolts and we get ready to fit all four bolts into the resin capsules and hammer the ball bearings into the bolt heads in quick succession. We want to do this as fast as possible. So we're using a fully charged battery. We have the drill set to medium speed and still in hammer mode, it's important. And uh, we use the drill to spin each of the bolts into position. So we're ready to go. We hold the drill in position by hand, gently, and then just carefully start to spin the, the bolt it will break the glass very quickly, very easily, and then we can put our hand on the back of the drill to put pressure on it and spin the bolt fully into position. And here we go. We don't go too far. It's important not to over-drill the, uh, the bolt into each capsule. We're going to keep going. Once they're home, that's all you need to do. And 
last one there's moved slightly, we'll just buzz that home. They're all fine. Now we go ahead and hammer the ball bearings into the bolt heads. For this we use a small 8mm bolt just to help us. And they need a good clout. One. All in position. So all four bolts are fitted, we've got the ball bearings in position. If any of them have lifted just slightly, you can just tap them home. While the resin is still soft, you're fine. But then you want to basically leave the ground anchor unattended for at least an hour. I mean ideally leave it overnight before actually relying on it. But that's the process complete, the ground anchor is fitted. <laughs>